it is time for our afternoon stream. I'm here. I'm sleepy. I'm ready to do some point and clicks. <laughs> I've missed Dark Side Detective. It's a good game. It's cute. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Hope things are going good. I am tired. As I've stated already. I don't know. It's been a weird couple of nights. It's been fine. It's been fine. But it's whatever. Um, I think we're just gonna hop into it. Let's make it happen. Assuming my game actually wants to capture. Hey, there it goes. There it goes. Um Yeah, this game is cute and clever and I love it. And it's very loud. Oh boy, is it loud. I'm excited to play more. Assuming I can get it to not be so loud. That would be cool. Let's try it there. Is that better? I should also like move Ooh, my microphone a little closer to me. I like messed with all my settings this morning and now everything's all weird. Oh well. <laughs> all right, which one are we on now? Dawn of the Dead? Is that it? Because we did lock mess, right? She summoned us all to the uh, to the deep briefing room about a code red citywide issue. Helps to read properly. That's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Um, making sure I have everything pulled up the way I need it. Cool. Is everyone here? Good. There are riots all over the city, so it's all hands on deck. That means you too, McLame. Time to do some real police work. Is that Dooley? Are you sure your iffy stomach is able for it? You two stop it. Officer Murakami here or was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening. Okay, that's not Dooley then. I was so concerned for my boy, but it's not him, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Chief. Guys have not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. We don't know what's uh, causing this behavior, but we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there and good luck. Squad dismissed. There's- it's three of us. Better get Dooley and hit the road. Oh shit, we can travel everywhere? Let's go to the museum first. Why is the door smashed in? Looks like a break-in. Looters? Maybe, but they tend to go for televisions, not tapestries. Let's check it out. Seems there's an Egyptian-themed display in, uh, in at the moment. Woo-ee! Those Egyptians were big. Those pictures aren't to scale. I knew that. Oh, Dooley, you fucking idiot. I think her car is old enough to be on an exhibition here. Ah, dinosaur. An impressive specimen. There seems to be something stuck in here, but it's too far for me to reach. After watching extensive historical footage, Twin Lakes uh, researchers believe this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. Presumed cause of death is drowning, as its tiny arms wouldn't have been great for swimming to the mainland. <laughs> wow, the team here must be top of their field. <laughs> Tall skeleton. This is what a plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think it may be what the human body was molded or er, modeled on. Fascinating. An ape, probably. What a fine institute of learning this is. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. I mean, probs. Gotta find a key. Is that a? Oh, <laughs> what on earth? That looks like a mummy. A scepter. Acceptor? I don't even know her! Wait, who are we talking about? This must be where that mummy came from. Looks like some jewelry is missing. Plaque says the Gem of Osiris. Osiris? The Egyptian death god? Can't help but think that's tied in with what's going on across the city. 
You have to be pretty sick to try swallowing that medicine. Because it's a tablet. I get it. I understand. Can I pop this open? Doesn't look like that'll work. Okay. Oh, can I... I didn't... Okay. I didn't realize that was open. I thought that was like a doorway or something. I don't know how or why, but that thing must have come out of that sarcophagus. Better look for a way to lure it back in there. Dooley. <laughs> boy, oh boy, those Egyptians really knew how to... Wait, I know this one. That statue, though. Right, detective? <laughs> oh, can I pop this open with it? I want to smash, uh, smash it open in case that damages the case's contents. I need a gentler solution. Okay, never mind. Emmy, hello, welcome. It goes. The town is infested with zombies. Or mummies, I guess. <laughs> there are mummies everywhere, and I don't know how to leave to look in a different location. So I guess everything I need is here. Oh! Oh! I'm a little slow this morning. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see how we manage to, like, solve anything. Uh, I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever he ate. How are you doing, though? How's it going? That must have been Tony Rex's last meal. Tony? The tea has to stand for something. Oh, Dooley. <laughs> can I lure him in? Doesn't look like it's working. Alright, well, can I use the bird bones to open this then? These might work as a makeshift lockpicking kit. A very fragile kit. Oh no. Maybe if I match these bones to the tumblers in the lock, they'll be able to open the cabinet. Uh. <laughs> hey, you made an attempt. It's okay if you didn't get it done. You tried. Yes, they're both. Yes, Fruity's got it. It's a skeleton key. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, That one? Hey. That seems to be it. Now to see what's inside. Brain jar. Jar of pickled brains. I prefer pickled onions myself. Eye of mute. There's an old note on the jars. Borrowing for soup. We'll return ASAP. Tea. How's it going, Fruity? How you doing? How's it hanging? Collection of earwax gathered from the museum staff. Used contact lenses. Some bad juju. Contains a drawing of some jam. Stuff full of old invoices. This museum... Need some help. Sorry, Pickled Brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. Yum. Space Invaders Pickled Onion Crisps exist outside the UK? They don't. I do know what- I do know what you're talking about, but they don't. Unfortunately. I would love- I would love some of those, though. I am- <laughs> I imagine. I want them. What do you mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen them in shows. I've heard people talk about these. <laughs> that, I mean, I've only ever heard very good things about them. Well, all the more reason to eat them, right, Emmy? If you don't like them, show them who's boss. <laughs> There's a case closed pun in here somewhere. There's just no time. I don't think we'll find anything else of note here. Let's get to the next crime scene. Chinatown. Fine. More space invaders for me, then. <laughs> this is where you got McNugget's retirement urn. What a fun party. Spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Chasing memories, you mean. <laughs> I love pickled onions. Um, 
Pickled radishes are also delicious. Oh, excuse me. Just pickled foods in general? I mean, obviously not everything is great when it's pickled, but like... They're good. <laughs> if you happen to remember why you wanted to ask us about these Space Invader crisps, let me know, because, like, I'm curious. I need to know the logic behind that. I'm glad you remembered, though. Um, but yeah, real talk, pickled onions are fucking amazing. <laughs> They're one of my favorite things to put in Bloody Marys. Uh, I can't make out anything inside, but these flyers advertise some local businesses. The g Grain Distribution Company, Hall & Oats, Sanctuary of Sensory Deprived Animals, Deaf Leopards, and the shop I buy my coats in, Fleece Wool Max! Back alley mystic shops have never run by a Mc McGillicuddy or Sanchez, are they? I like these music puns. There's a stringless tennis racket in here. <gasps> are we are we gonna become Waluigi? It's actually painted onto the building. The mayor figured it was cheaper than building and maintaining real drains. Oof. <laughs> okay, oh jeez. Are those paws? Nah, they couldn't be. Help! I'm trapped! Get rid of them! Okay. <laughs> Is that skull real? That's the skull of the previous shop owner. Her will stipulated I keep it on display at all times. Crystals used for some form of healing, I guess. Wow, this is sharp. That might be useful. Given my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. Dreamcatcher. Used for trapping nightmares. Maybe useful in this nightmare. Nice lanterns. Shop like this runs on amb ambiance. 80% of all sales are because customers can't see what they're buying. <laughs> Yikes! It's this pile of books. Various books on positive living, feng shui, and harnessing the energy of the secret hell beast to control your enemies. Wait, what? <laughs> I want that last one. I want that last book? What's this? Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. Large trunk with a sturdy lock. It's empty inside. Who's yelling at me? Which cat? I'm not coming out until those things are gone. Okay. The hell? Monkey paws all come to life. Or all came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. Hope the riots citywide aren't all undead related. Less worry, more scurry! Get rid of them! Can I stab you? Hmm. They're not reacting. Maybe they don't feel pain? I think I need a way to catch them. No use, the rope is too tight to catch anything. Okay. That's pretty. You should buy it! Treat yourself! Now's not the time to be shopping. Carpet diem! That's what I say. That's not. Never mind. Okay, so we got. Can I use that on the strange box? I think I'll try something else. Okay. Can I use the racket? The dream catcher. Are they all the same? Okay, then... <laughs> There's nothing else in here but takeout containers and dirty magazines. Aw, oh, dang! <laughs> get, get it? It's dirty magazines, because it's... They're dirty. It's like we're barred from their dually. I don't get it. It's a window, not a club. I was... Uh, never mind. Oh, dually. So is there nothing out here that I can do? Can I put this in here? Hmm. 
maybe... I'm trying to figure out how to do it, though, because, like, I've tried... I need a way to catch them, not bash them. Oh, wait a second. No, I see. I understand. I have to use the... Yeah, I have to use a dream catcher on the rock to cut up, cut it up so I get the string, and then I can put the string with the racket. It's a bit loose for a game of squash, don't you think? I was just trying to see if I, like, needed anything else, but... No, I already have everything that I need. I see, that's clever. One careful swipe and... Okay, I've got them all caught. Heck yeah. Pop them in that trunk. That's this area. <laughs> Locked down. Thank goodness you came, officers. I don't know how else I'd have escaped. You guys? They couldn't send some other cops? Whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. Hello again, Mr. Wang? Wong? My name is, uh, Detective McQueen? Hmm, looks like we've got the wrong guy. What happened here? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out back, they all started moving. Body out back? I never said that. You've got no proof. Julie, you hear him? Hmm? What's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. All this started not long after my store was robbed last night. Do you not have bodies out back? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Bunno, hello, welcome. It's a great way to just announce your presence. <laughs> How's it going? How are you doing? Welcome to our afternoon stream. Uh, not in my shop you didn't. You sold them to Dooley. Couldn't have sold him something that doesn't exist. Wink. <laughs> you just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Wink. Tell me more about the robbery last night. Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took some entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. <laughs> oh, God. They floated in? Yep, floated in in a green haze. Sounds like Darksiders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here, Dooley. I'm not sure what Darksiders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. Hiccups. To the mansion! Alright, we have reports of a break-in at the Dawn's old mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we have better things to focus on than a derelict old building. We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belonged to a mafia, Dawn. For all we know, there's a hidden weapon cache in here. Given how crazy crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get it. Gargoyles. These things remind me of some of the people we've met on our cases. Is that a good use of police resources and time? No. Was it fun? Yes. Palm trees. Must have been doing pretty well for himself to have a beachside house with palm trees. Maybe crime does pay after all. Have you ever noticed that the moon is always full in Twin Lakes? It's cheaper to reuse assets, I guess. I really like the self-aware humor in this game. It says stay out. Luckily, the law doesn't apply to us. Dooley, the law does apply to us. Just not in this particular case. This must belong to whoever was, is in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I better power it down for now. Doesn't do anything since I removed the battery. These boarded windows make it hard to see much inside. A condemned sign. I don't see why it's condemned. Looks like a perfectly fine sign to me. These boarded windows make it hard to see much inside. Alright, let's go. Zambi. Sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. Brains. That's not right. Is there somebody there? Yes, are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. Wrong. Hold on, we'll do something. 
<laughs> Best zombie butler. Don Cafani? Cafoni. That's one mean looking mobster. It's always mean acting. Do you think those two factors or those two facts are related? A surprisingly tame couch for a mob boss to have in his house. Seems to be the rope that holds the chandelier in place. Seems to be stuck. I mean, yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. We'll just walk past the zombie butler. No big deal. We could use these at the bloody uh, blood wolf camp. Somebody ruined our pots by melting marshmallows all over them. Uh, what? Somebody? What up? Those monsters. It was us. We did it. It was definitely us. No knives, scissors, or other sharp objects. What a convenient inconvenience. There's the remains of a long-forgotten roast chicken in here. It is not edible, Dooley. <sighs> Can't open this one. I wonder what treasures are inside. Not enough to force it open, however. Various supplies, including candles. I think I'll take one. Give me the candle. What a stink. Somebody forgot to clean out the fridge when the place was condemned. Anything in there I can eat? Dooley, it's all rotten. But I'm so hungry. You made things sound urgent, so I skipped second breakfast. This is urgent, Dooley. Fine, but after this, you're buying me pancakes. Is, is... <laughs> Dooley's a hobbit confirmed? Look, it is so dark and stinky, I wouldn't put my hand in there for any reward. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. Absolutely. Okay, I need... Somebody half cleaned this cup. I'm sure they won't mind me taking, uh, taking their sponge. <gasps> Blood wolf trick. Combine a battery with steel wool to make a fire starter. Little Emily taught me that. That's plausible. <laughs> If I light this while it's still in my pocket, I'd burn my coat. My precious, precious coat. Okay, never mind. Let's put the candle here. Oh, come on. Please. Just need this to magically float? No. That's odd. I guess I'd best try something else. Side table. There we go. Let's just leave this here. This should be able to burn through the rope in a suitably slow and dramatic fashion. Bro. It's, uh, safe to come out now. Detective, is now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire? Is that Raxa? <gasps> Raxa? You guys, I owe you big time. What were you doing in here? Actually, for no reason, no reason at all, we should go outside before you tell us. Lol! <laughs> Thanks for saving me back there. Are you okay? She's a ghostbuster! Look at her! I am. Thanks to you guys. What's with the get up? I'm an inspookter now. Since I kept finding myself at weird goings ons, I licensed myself a franchise. And there was a localized storm here last night, so I knew that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Uh, is this your equipment? It is. It's a sp uh, sp spook demeter. Do you like it? It reads for a spooktivity. I brought it, or yeah, I brought it with me to help get readings. But I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here, searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for the dawn. But he's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back, but then that thing burst out of the floor and I was trapped again. So, what do the readings say? That's odd. The battery is missing. <laughs> Just whistling innocently. Thankfully, there's a printout inside it. Give me a second while I open it up. Wow, lots of, lots of spooktural readings. Whoever, whatever, was looking for the dawn, they weren't human. Julie, I just figured it out. The Darksiders aren't looking for something at the dawn's house. They're looking for the dawn. But you said he was dead. 
Which is why they took the Gem of Osiris and the Ritual Components. They're trying to resurrect him. Wow, Detective. What an amazing coincidence that every place the Chief sent us was tied in so tightly with what's really going on. It's true. It's true. Graveyard time? Graveyard time. Wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. That's what I feared. The place is swarming with zombies. These must be the Darksiders we've heard about. They're firing at somebody inside the church. I can't make out who, though. Look, Dooley, over there! There's some bad mumbo-jumbo happening at the crypt. We need to stop them from bringing the Dawn back. It's gonna be McKing or whatever his name is. See that constellation, detective? That's called stars. Okay, Dooley, let's go. No doubt about it. There's zombies, all right. Looks like we're not getting in that way. Who's up there? Hey, bros! I need help! I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views on the universe here. Somebody trapped in the church. If we don't get in and help them, they'll be zombie fodder. I hope that gate holds. They're far too eager a welcoming party. Okay. But how do I get in? If we can get this into position, I can get over the wall. Ugh, it's stuck. The wheels seem to be rusted. Manhole! It's covered by the massive dumpster. I wonder if there's another manhole on the other side of the wall? Here's one for you, Dooley. How many cops does it take to change a light bulb? No idea, but thankfully it's working, so not our concern. Also, streetlights fall under the city maintenance department, and not the police. I thought you'd know that, detective. Manholes again. Bees and manholes. They will never leave us alone. <laughs> not ever. The wall's too high to jump over. Dooley, give me a boost. I would, detective, but I put my back out in the gym this morning. We're gonna have to find another way. Water tower. Water tower in a graveyard. Odd. That's for low budget holy water. Priest could bless it after a heavy rain. Aw, oh, dang. Maybe leaving the lights on wasn't the best way to sneak up to this place. Might need this nightstick to keep the welcoming party at bay. Can I use that on oh, the dumpster? No. Look in dumpster. Oil can! An oil can. I could use that to oil the wheels, but I can't quite reach it. Well, will then use my nightstick. I can reach it, but I can't quite hook it. I need something with a better grip. It appears to be a box of stew. Is it warm? Could- No, Dooley, you could not eat the old box stew. I mean, plank? Plank might be useful. Nope, it's infested with termites. Not putting that in my pockets. Bag full of magic eight balls. What do they say? Ask again later. Aw, but I want to know! What a load of rubbish. Oh look, I need one of those for my house. So wait... Can I... Knock off one of these guys' arms? Get back, you monster! Finally, a positive application for police brutality. Well, its hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to care. We might need another way in. Yes, give me the zombie arm. Okay, in position. Now to squeeze this muscle and... Got it! Beautiful. Use oil on the dumpster. Okay, that's the wheels oiled up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. Okay, hey, Julie, I'll go over the wall. You go through the sewers. Hopefully that way one of us can save these people and stop the dawn from being brought back. Have I mentioned that I don't like tunnel- Not the time, buddy. The city needs us. I know. Hey, detective. Yeah? Be careful. You too, buddy. You too. Ah! 
Sorry. We get to play as Dooley? That way is blocked off by a large gate. What secrets are you hiding, gate? When all this is done, I'm gonna launch an investigation into you. I'll call it Gate Gate. <laughs> I love Dooley! <laughs> no doubt this is a secret bolt hole for government informants. I also definitely read bolt hole as a butthole. This is how the government pumps dihydrogen monoxide into our homes. Monsters. Dooley, you're an idiot and I love you. <laughs> TV show on urban legends. What nonsense. But also sewer gator. Hey, little guy. What are you doing down here? I'm watching my stories. Leave me be. A gator. In the sewers. Watching TV? Well, that story checks out to me. Enjoy, mister. Just keep an eye out for cannibals. Dooley. No! <laughs> that boat's not the only thing floating down here. This box holds all the power in the city, electrical and political. Hi, Dooley. Aren't you gonna say hello? One second there, guy. What's a clown doing down here? This isn't a circus. I also like how his name is Pound Smart. <laughs> eh, I give balloons to wayward kitties. Do you now? And, uh, there's cotton candy. And rides. And all sorts of, um... Surprises down here. Surprises? Did I mention the balloons come in all colors? Hmm. I see no harm in any of this. Good on you for making those lost kids, or make sure those lost kids aren't frightened. Um, thanks? As you were. You too? <laughs> Dooley, you're so bad at your job. <laughs> Gents, interesting sign you have here. Um, thanks? What, uh, what are you working on? Us? We're repairing the power lines. You noticed all those flickering lights across the city recently? We're gonna fix them. That sure is great. It's Pound Smart. His name is Pound Smart. That's not Pennywise. That's copyrighted. <laughs> A great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Uh, I see your sign. That's an inverted I. You guys are eye masons. <laughs> Refrigerate. What? No, the other one. Freeze! I meant freeze. This is why so many of my TV dinners spoil. Drop your stuff and get out of here. I'd arrest you, but I have places to be. What are you talking? We're just here to fi- Resisting arrest, is it? I guess we gotta listen to officer and take rest day off, Tyrese. Sure, it'll be nice to get home to the family early for a change. Is it, though? <laughs> I'll confiscate this so they can't return to whatever shady business they were doing. <laughs> Dooley, you've done it so bad. What a nasty business they were up to. Digging a hole to the planet hidden inside our planet. Or building a lair for the lizard people who secretly rule over us. Maybe they were planning to sacrifice something to the mole men. Whatever it was, it's been thwarted. Devilish debris from a cunning foe. Hiccups. Dooley. This gate is blocking me from going any further. If only there was a way past it. Can I use the Kingo hammer? When life gives you lemons, smash those lemons with a hammer. Then send the lemon carcasses back to life. Or then send the lemon carcasses back to life so it knows not to mess with you again. Dooley. <laughs> Crushed by rider's block. Drowned in a stack of or er, stack overflow. Painted himself into a corner. Nobody heard what happened to him. Eaten alive by bugs. Can I go to the shed? Who are you? We've been breached! Charge! Uh, wait! Crikey, I do apologize. I thought you were the the Hun. Come to munch on my brain for military secrets. But I can tell now you're a Yankee boy. It's in the stance. Not rigid enough. Shoulders like a melted ice cream on a sunny Sunday morning. 
Uh... <laughs> Seems obscure enough to be useful. Hands off, old boy! Those Huns outside smell dreadful! That mask is my only protection. Boots of my size. Like them, old chap? They're yours! Belong to a sergeant of mine in the war. Um, thanks? Wait a second. These aren't normal boots. They've got metal sockets in them. He had mechanical legs. Needed special shoes that would click on. That's why I have no use for them. How generous. That's a nice helmet. It's poor form to com uh, comment on another man's piece, old chap. Afraid you can't have that, old chap. I need it to bash zombie uh, zombie Fritz should he try to enter my bunker. Okay. Can I help you, old bean? Who are you? Brigadier Reginald, Reginald Smith. Smithy to my friends. Reginald? You're not Reggie. <laughs> of course, I have no friends. No time for friends in the army, eh? Surely you're not still in the army. My dear chap, when you sign up, you sign up for life. How long have you been here? Blimey, I don't jolly well know. Crashed here as a young man, took a job as a gravedigger as I wasn't a citizen. All happened some time ago, I should imagine. Are you okay? You look like you've been through a lot. This, this is just a scratch. You should have seen the Hun when we were done with them. Are you... I'm concerned that this man has been bit. <laughs> You're a military man. Can you help, uh, help gear me up for the fight? Helping with war effort? Sounds spiffy. I still have my military kit. Let's see. There's my mess tin, but things seem messy enough here already. A water bottle, but it's been shot up. Ground sheet? A sheet would probably be more useful if it hasn't been ground up. It's not looking good, old chap. Tell you what. Take my gas mask. It's over there on the shelf. Thanks. Anything to stop Fritz in his tracks. Alright, bye. Toodle pip. <laughs> now be careful with that. Probably still has some mustard gas caked into it. Where was this when I was hunting down those gremlins? Can I take that? No, he still wants it. So nice and, or so nice and warm. Another reason to not want to go back out there. Built it myself from plane parts after I was shot down here during the Great War. I say Great War, but really, it was mediocre at best. <laughs> what is happening? Look here, Slim. We got us a stray zombie. <laughs> yeah, stray. Fire a few rounds to chase it off and be thankful that uh, that we ain't got a horde to deal with. <laughs> yeah, horde. Unless there's gas, I'm not putting this thing on. Okay. Um, water tower. Guess it's for excess water to run into the sewers. The legs of this tower look badly damaged. Is Dooley gonna like... Oh, dang. Brains! Can't pi pass by them, but maybe I can find a way to go over them and get in through that broken window? I need to get out of here before I get munched on! Dooley's gonna break that gate underneath and it's gonna... absolutely destroy this water tower. Seems to be full of rainwater. Okay. At another crime scene. At another crime scene, eh, Moon? I think it's time we had a little talk down at the station. Hi. The metal socket on the inside leaves no room for feet. Maybe something else would click in? Tower looks badly damaged. Pipe is for excess water to run into the sewers. Scaffolding. Here we go. I hope this structure is sturdy because a piece of this could prove handy. Can I put the scaffold? Scaffolding is a perfect fit. 
now I got stilts. Okay, let's try these out. I'm so tall! Can't get me all the way up here. Oh, brains. Okay, still blocking the door. Then let's go on inside. Dark side goon shot out the window, giving me a handy way in. Agent McScream, what are you doing here? What are any of us doing here? Helpful as ever. I need to save whoever's trapped in the bell tower, then figure out a plan to get to the crypt and stop that ritual. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't actually want to go out. I just wanted to see what she had to say. What are you doing here? Circle the wounded, barking at the beasts that would feast on carrion. Um, that's still not helpful. I'm gonna presume you mean I'm here because other darksiders are here? Presumption is the mother of dragons. Okay, bud. Chief Ghoulie! Uh, what's going on here? What are you doing in the bright side? Oh, uh, innards. Are you okay? Been shot, son. Right in the gut. So it was you and McScream those goons were shooting at. Had it were, son. Burning up from the inside out, I am. Dark side bullets is not like yours, what with them being full of cursed components, as it were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullet? Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purified water to wash the badness out. I'll have to look around. As you were then, son. It's a sensor. Sensor is full of old caked in moldy smelling incense. A blocky dog's calendar. Alright, I need to get the priest to bless some water for us. Pens, letter opener, some reading glasses with the lenses popped out. Take the letter opener. It has the core religious texts from all major faiths and a note saying, just in case. I wish I had a nice chair like this back in the office. Couldn't confiscate this for the case, could I? No. Could I, though? No. It's a heavy-duty shredder. It could probably even tear up clothes. Oh, really? Get back, demon bro! Great. Now I'm soaked. Gnarly. Thought you were a hollow head. Totally wipe out on my end, bro. Right. Do you have a towel I can borrow? An assortment of extreme sporting goods, from scuba, scuba tanks to hang gliders, and oddly face paints. Why do you have all this? Dude, I like to extreme to the max. And you can't extreme to the max without painting your face. But the scuba tank is bust. I lost the mouthpiece. I'm gonna throw it out. Mind if I take it? Sure, dude. Enjoy. <laughs> Sorry for the washout, dude. What was that about? Hollowheads don't like holy water, my friend amigo. <laughs> Hot quotes of the mega! <laughs> I wish you were Egghead. Our sweet boy. Turns them into mush burgers. Good to know. <laughs> Can I have some holy water? Far out, dude. Happy to share the Lord's liquid. Don't say it like that. I'm way low right now. Wasted my last wipeout on you. But you can have my dregs. But dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. Ella, welcome! <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Honestly, this guy just reminds me. He's like the exemplification of, uh, for the Adventure Zone during their very first campaign. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Their cleric has a has a ex max stream teen Bible or whatever, and this is just what I imagine. This is the dude that peddles those books. Hey, I do, I do, I do daytime streams now. Surprise! <laughs> it's okay. It's still like we're still like in the infancy of uh, the early streams. It's good. It's good. Shiny bell. Thanks. I polish it myself. All right, I got what I need from the priest, I guess. We're doing good. 
I'm doing good at least. I'm super tired, but like, it's fine. <laughs> uh, use this to wash out your wound. Much better. Thank you, son. <laughs> How are you doing, Ella? How's it going? Hey there. Any chance of a miracle? No? Right. Thank you for that, son. Feel better now? Much better. Ready to fight the forces of evil once more. I knew I was right about you. Good egg, this one. Aw, uh, at least you're getting by. That's good. <laughs> I hope it gets better for you soon, though. Good day, son, and Godspeed. Alright, well... I spoke with Ghoulie. Does he still, still fester in the pits of agony? He's recovering now. Yeah, I have, uh, I've fixed everything so that my stream runs much better now. Um, <laughs> I've had the time to play around with the settings. So, plus I have the internet that can, like, support doing, you know, 1080, 1080p streams. And that's exciting. <laughs> um, only if you consider getting better to, uh, better to be recovery. Um, I should investigate the area and decide what to do next. As must we all. Can I leave? It's my makeshift entrance. I can still hear the zombies outside. Uh. This calls for a celebration. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Ella. Sounds like they're arguing. If only I could understand them. <laughs> it is very exciting, though. The mask should hold up as a replacement for breathing or for a breathing apparatus for a few minutes at least. I'm yeah, I'm also very pleased <laughs> just at the general fact that things are like functioning. It's great. Uh this candles are bigger than my head. It was it was rough going for a little bit there, but we're good now. It's all good. Does he have more to say? Oh, I came to save you. Are you okay? Given those circumstances, I'm happy to be topside, not drowning in a swell of undead. We need to get you out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out, dude. Ah, yes! <laughs> I'm, like, slowly but surely, like, getting through all the backlog of, um the previous uh streams and stuff but i also like having them up because a it frees up space on my computer but also just means that like they're always available um which is very very nice and i'm glad that it like you guys are appreciating it as well um <laughs> it's all acacia all the time <laughs> but that's like that's the thing too it's like i get that like um I know some people have been, like, invested in certain series but can't always make it, and so having it there is nice. And then it also is just, like, I like having background noise and sometimes just listening to people scream <laughs> in the background is is cool. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm glad that I'm glad that you are enjoying it and that it's, it's working for you. <laughs> Two videos a day. I can make that happen. <laughs> Hopefully I can start, like, recording new stuff soon as well. Um, like, I'm still working on getting um, Higurashi set up. Now that I've got... I, like, I keep wanting to, like, tweak, like, my recording stuff first before I, like, jump back into that series. Um, but I think I'm, like, almost fully there and ready to go. It's just a matter of sitting down and doing it now. <laughs> but yeah... It's good. Um. <laughs> and then, yeah, doing, like, the afternoon streams and kind of keeping me on a schedule is helping, so I should be able to be able- or I should be able to, um, get on track with that a little more. And if I don't do it, like, all in one sitting, I can at least dedicate, like, an hour or two here and there to- to work on it. So I'm hoping that works. We'll see. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it was full of holy water. Just aim, aim and spray, right? 
Like the surfer listens to the sea. Maybe you should listen to the dead. That actually, that might work. Good idea. The Lord spe speaks through me, Brosif. What's with all the sports gear? I was meant to be going on an extreme sports holiday, but I stayed to bless some babies. Bro, I will not make that mistake again. Yeah, all right. Sayonara, dude. I like I like Surfer Bro. <laughs> Priest, he seems pretty cool. Uh, can you help me understand the zombies now? Nah, can never speak to the dead myself. Neither a necromancer or a cryptic speaker be. Drat, I was sure that was the kind of thing you Darksiders could do. That, son, is what I what you call racism. That's true. You can't just assume that. That's not great. You didn't do it great. McQueen. I spoke with Ghoulie. Does he still fester the pits of agony? Okay, but can... Right. Right, do you think you can teach me to talk to zombies? Are we not all, in a way, zombies? Listen closely. That was easier than I thought. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey! Okay, let's find out what these zombies are saying. Gotta understand what those monsters want before going back outside. Okay, well then listen. Let's try this again. Brains, brains, brains! Brains? Brains! They seem angry and confused. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could, uh, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find a way to make myself look and smell less alive. I think I'll try something else. Oh no! I'm gonna have to shred my beautiful clothes! Sorry, coat, but I need to look more undeadish! Since there's full of old, caked in, moldy smelling incense, if I can find a way to scrape some of it loose, I can use it to mask my lovely living smell. Look <laughs> Make it with a hint of sadness. <laughs> Barbara, that looks perfect. What? Sorry, darling. I was a million miles away. <laughs> oh, good movie. <laughs> if I can scrape enough of it to rub on my coat, I should smell less alive. And done. Boy, that stings. <laughs> Smell dead, my clothes look right, but I still look too alive to pass as one of them. Do you want to breathe this in? I don't have a use for that right now. Can I... <laughs> We're all just here being like, yep, we're zombies when we wake up. It's fine. These candles are bigger than my head. <laughs> Assortment. Face paints! <gasps> Give me your face paint! Can I use your face paints to make me look undead? I can do that 110%, bro! Percents only go up to 100. 110, bro! 110. And what'd you think? <laughs> what'd you think of it? Fine. Ah, heck yeah! We look dead now. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it yet, um. Fear Street on Netflix. I I hope you guys have it. Um <laughs> over over in Europe. But uh Fear Street 1994 really fucking good. Surprisingly good. Um I haven't watched the other one yet, the 1978 or whatever it was, 79 or something like that. Uh, but the first one was shockingly good. I hated all the characters at first, and then I fell madly in love with all of them and was cheering them on the entire time. Um, would recommend. Y'all should check out Fear Street. It's a TV show, or it's a it's a movie, but there are, like, two parts to it. Um, so there's 94, which I want to say is, like, an hour and a half, maybe two hours long. Um, and then there's 1970-whatever. Uh, which I think is also about the same length of time. And I think they're gonna make more of them. I hope that they make more of them. But I plan on watching uh, the second Fear Street here soon. Uh, but Jody and I watched it over the weekend and we were both shocked. <laughs> it's very good. Brains! 
brains, brains, brains. Brains? Okay, they've agreed to unionize under my leadership. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. Yeah, is is good. Is is a good show. Um, Mama Mia, it's a zombie horde. Run, Slim. <laughs> yeah, run. Oh, give me that car key. Those goons must have, goes blah, blah, blah. those goons must have dropped these before running off. Zombie disguise. I've unionized the zombies. Stop right there. Too late, Bright Cider. Rawr, I live. His name is Al Corpson. He's no zombie. He's a human, you fools. Brains? Oh no. Destroy him. Brains. So this is how it ends. Not with a bang, but with me whimpering. Oh dang! I think this is about to give. Thanks, Dooley. Oh god, Dooley, I hope you're not dead. <laughs> Dooley, he's trapped under the rubble with those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that holy water turned them to mush, but where would I find enough of it? Magical paint. This must be the ritual paint taken from Wang's. They used to, uh, used it to paint those markings and summon Corpzone's body. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over that name. Corpzone's soul into our Don's body. I need to find a way over it if I'm gonna help Dooley. Statue of St. Monica, patron saint of being trapped in spooky crypts with, with bad guys. I don't understand why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on walls, but I'm glad they do. This could make a, a passable walkway. I gotta move fast. We gotta save Dooley. I'm genuinely concerned for him. You should get me across. Okay, let's go. Still a good solid car. Well betide anything that this crashed into. Let's get in it. Driving the car into the water tower would give me enough water, but it's not holy. Plus, Dooley would drown too. I need to fix these problems first. Ah ha ha! Quickly, put this on, buddy. Okay. I gotta go paint on the water tower. I think I'll try something else. Oh, do I need the books from the church? That sounds about right. In here. It was a core religious text from all major faiths and a note saying, just in case. Okay, then do I go talk to the priest again? I need you to bless the water tower for me. <laughs> bro, are you for real, bro? I've gotten all the undead into the sewers. I need to flush them fast. I've been waiting uh, been waiting to be asked to churn out that much god juice, like, literally forever. You have a distinct way of talking about your faith. <laughs> what can I say, bro? The Lord is my surf guy. We hang tight and hang often, and I want to bring the whole world out on the waves with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safety mucho serioso. Take this life ring with you in case you get caught up in the flood. Flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. Julie's gotta wait. It's gotta chill. Dude, bro, I'm gonna go do my thing, bro. May the big G be on your side. <laughs> I just want Dooley to be safe. That's all. Life ring. Okay. Why the hell did I think... I assume you need this. I think I'll try something else. Okay, never mind. Why did I assume it was like a literal ring? Like a ring for your finger? Bro, I'm all over this. Bro, go do your thing. I'll be ready, bro. Alright, alright. I'm going. Oh, do I need to... Uh... Let this guy know what's going on. Not this again. Smithy, it's me. I'm disguised. Ah, the Yankee boy. Black tops behind enemy lines, I see. Something like that, yes. As you were then. Do you can I help you, old bean? No, apparently not. 
Alright, just wanted to make sure that he wasn't gonna die, but you know. Okay, Dooley is ready. I'm ready. Are you ready up there, father? <laughs> Cowabunga! Take that as a yes. Best of luck, dude. I'm off to my vacay! <laughs> the pedal's locked in place and the car is good to go. I hope my aim is true. <laughs> Big hallelujah, my dude! <laughs> Alright, don't die, Dooley! I love you, my boy! Hey, Dooley, you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Feeling a little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay! Glad to hear it. No! You took my minions! I'll have to create new ones, starting with your friend! Hold on, Dooley! Damn it, if only there was a way I could send the Dawn back to the dark side! Can I... Need to copy the ritual markings onto this ring to turn it into a makeshift portal. This one? This one. This one. There. 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 That's cool. I like that. My improvised portal's ready for use. Yeet it! I just need to take careful aim. No! Got him! Enjoy your exile back to the dark side. You okay, Dooley? I'll live, detective. God, I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of these sewers. Uh, now then, now then, now then. Now then. We has arrested the rest of his accomplices and locked him away. This uncooperated, uh, this one cooperated to reduce its sentence. Reverse the ritual side effects that raise the dead in your city. Should be all, uh, that all undead is back to being plain old dead now. Good, because I had no idea how I was gonna fix that. That was crazy dangerous magic guy. I was young and innocent, easily misled. It happened a half, uh, half hour ago. I've grown a lot in that time. A new man, ready for parole, I'd say. Anyway, we owe you for this, Brightsiders. You're welcome. I'd say any time, but let's make sure this never happens again, eh? Absolutely. Let's get to processing this lot, eh, Agent? <laughs> Can I give Dooley a hug? I need to tell my boy it's okay. Sometime later. Ugh. No! <laughs> Brickman! Dick Brickman here with Detective McKing, who just received a medal for stopping the riots across the city. Can you tell me, Dick Brickman, and them viewers of Dick Brickman, what happened, Detective? There were riots across the city, and, uh, now there aren't. Light on the details there, Detective. Your wife is the mayor. It's not a conflict of interest. Nope. There you have it, friends. No conflicts and one fancy medal. Congratulations to the Detective. After all that, I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, Detective. Saying that the water tower burst a few days prior and got tainted by dead bodies before leaking into the reservoir, giving everyone temporary madness. At least we know what happened. You're a hero, detective. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. I love my boys. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, is that it? Like, are we done with the game? Did we finish the entire game? Oh no! Well, I didn't plan for that to happen. So... <laughs> uh, the real question is, what do we move on to? That wasn't very gentle, and I mean, like, it is, it is just, like, a collection of, uh, 
you know, short mini games and stuff. There is a second uh, Darksiders game. I don't have it just yet, but I was planning on picking it up at some point. I was also planning on replaying, um, fuck, what was it? Yuppie Psycho. <laughs> Boy, is there very good credits. <laughs> Um, what are you doing, Key Cat? Yeah, so I was thinking about like redoing, um, do 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 do. Aww, in memory of Peter Farelli, is that why Father Farelli was named that? That's cute, right? <laughs> I liked the one. That was like, uh, thank you to Peter Farelli for making so-and-so watch the X-Files. These are adorable credits. This message is 100% not from the people who lives inside your fridge, and we certainly didn't shrink down to Twin Lakes. For <laughs> it's good game. It's a good game. <laughs> All the way around. Everything about it is good. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that was precious. Dark Side Detectives, y'all. Good game. There he goes. Yeah, so A Fumble in the Dark is out already. Um, I don't own it, but I plan on picking it up at some point. But y'all should also pick it up and check it out yourselves, because this game was a delight. Um... <laughs> This game was adorable and fantastic. Okay, let me... It's called Dark Side Detectives. If you want to add it to your Steam wish list, there's a link right there for you. I had this prepared and ready to go. Um... Oh, the next one is called Fumble in the Dark. Hold on. It says that there are other ones. Is there DLC? Hold on a second. Let me relaunch this game. Because it looks like there's, like, more achievements for more chapters. Are there more chapters? Bonus! Okay. There are three bonus chapters. Do we want to do those? What am I saying? Of course we do. Um, before we do, though, let's take a very, very short break. <laughs> um, cause I need to use the restroom. And you can't stop me. Just gonna say that. All right. Um. So yeah, we'll take a very, very short break, and we'll uh, we'll be right back for these bonus chapters. It'll be great.
Okay, I'm good to go. But now I want to play Hades. The good, good music. Um. <laughs> All right, so let's start with Buy Hard. Christmas Eve is the perfect time for some last minute shopping, right? The answer is no. That's incorrect. You've done it bad. <laughs> Woo! Christmas Eve! Perfect for some last minute holiday shopping. <sighs> when I was a kid, holiday shopping meant buying new trunks for the beach. When you were a kid, something something old people. Let's go see Santa! <laughs> Allie! Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. Hello, welcome, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't shock me about you, Ella. <laughs> also, who is this kid? Can't wait to watch movies and eat candy all day. <clears throat> and help my mom with dinner. Is that Dooley's son? Wait, Dooley's married? Halt, shoppers. What is the nature of your visit? Shopping. Shopping for... Last minute Christmas gifts, clearly. Mm, your story checks out. Just remember, I am the law around here, and my cameras cover 26% of this place. Not everything happens without my knowing about it. I mean, I'm assuming it's his son. Oh, Allie. I'm, I'm sorry things are being rough. I love you, though. Which I know doesn't resolve anything, but... I hope it gets better soon. <laughs> um, Julie, don't go in there. Oh, so now we're too good to search in bins all of a sudden. I've really gone all out this year. I know, much better than last year's lone light and cardboard tree. You can really smell the plastic of this one. Good, I'm glad that it, is, it should be calming down sometime soon. <laughs> Does it really? That's. Moobot, what are you doing? I'll see if I can change that. I don't think that's been an issue for other people. Moobot just wants to whisper to you. Why is it doing that? Here, I'm gonna write that down to check later. Wow, my pen exploded. Isn't that great? Alright, well, in the trash you go. Excuse me. <laughs> Moobot's being cheeky and cute. I love, I love it when pens explode. That's my favorite. Are you an exploding pen? No. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness there's a map. These places are huge. They always get lost. Julie, the mall is only 20 screens big. Excuse me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know it. Photo montage! <laughs> I just got the achievement BFFs! I love my stupid boys. Dorks. Yeah, but said with like the most love ever. <laughs> Free copy of the Twin Lake Times. Grab me a copy, will ya? I want to read the sports what? results. Agnes, what are you doing here? I work here when the camp is closed. Camp closes? I need to make a few phone calls. He'll be here any minute, right? No, Devin. No, he won't. That means... Christmas abandonment badges! Yay!
Need some eggnog, mate? We have all the varieties. Egg flavored, nog flavored, um, milk flavored. Milky egg liquid. Taste of the holidays. I don't, I don't, might be controversial. I don't like eggnog. I don't think it's that controversial. I don't think, I think a lot of people don't like eggnog. <laughs> eggnog is gross. <laughs> Hot dogs, burgers, turkey legs. It all sounds so delicious. I don't know what to order. Yuskin ignores all that. We got stew. What? It's a hearty winter treat. What flavor is it? Dunno. Can't just said stew. I'll just have a soda. Ain't got no sodas. Only got stew. Fizzy stew. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but I've lost my appetite. Our poor boy. <laughs> Whoa, that is impressive. It goes as far as the eye can see. Dooley, it doesn't even touch the root. As far as the eye can see. His decorations are pretty impressive, right, Dooley? That's nothing compared to the tree I'm decorating when I get home tonight. Wait, it's Christmas Eve and you don't have a tree up yet? I think you'll find I have seven up so far, but for tonight's tree, I'm pulling out all the stops. Free gifts! Our job here is done. Nope, they're empty. On we go! Never seen a bidet with that much power before! <laughs> Duly no! Caco si Santa! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! One and all! A jolly red meal ticket. Look at this fine trio of lads. I hope you've been good all year. Good? We've been great! We need some city-saving sized goodies in the stockings this year, Santa. A city saver, eh? Then you must be Detective McKing. I kid, I kid. I know who you are, Francis. I am Santa. I see all. I was just being a jerk for funsies. Guys, Santa's got a busy schedule. Join the queue and wait your turn, yeah? Okay, Buzz, you heard the happy elf. Get in the queue and we'll go grab gifts for you and your mom. Are we okay to leave him here on his own? Detective, it's Twin Lakes. At Christmas. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, yeah. Well, we're leaving him We're leaving him anyway. Uncle of the Year here. Oh, okay, so that's his nephew. All right. Who? Where? Maybe I could get some tips, because I suspect I need them. <laughs> <laughs> Dooley is not married, confirmed. <gasps> Arcane. Faith Invaders. What? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> A mix of Space Invaders and, and, and Faith? Okay. I don't like these noises. They're bad noises. The Faith series is one that I want to play on the channel at some point. I'm waiting until the trilogy comes out, though. Which, who knows when that's going to happen. Airdorf, get on it. <laughs> oh, God. Scary sounds are scary. You're going so fast! Oh god. I know it's the point of Space Invaders, but I was unprepared! Oh fuck. Oh god. I've, I've, I've done it bad. And I can't shoot very quick. It's just a bad deal, you know? <sighs> alright, alright, let's just go ahead and quit. That's neat. <laughs> What's zombie munch? Pac-Man. It Pac-Man. Oh, I don't- I- oh. 
doesn't control very well. <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> Valid point. while that lasted claw machine why is there a kid in here oh god there is <laughs> crawled in when i wasn't looking but but dada you've told me to go in and pass the goodies out to you shut up kids eh say the damnedest things also emily hey detective hey blood alpha emily what are you doing here Dad took me and my baby brother to see Santa, but Santa is lame, so now we're trying to steal toys from the claw machine. Excited for Christmas? Ugh, I hate Christmas. Everyone is off with their families, the weather is poop, and we have to go around with Dad stealing stuff to put under the tree. Rubbish time of year. What about Santa? Surely you're excited for his visit. Santa's a sham, detective. Sometimes I worry about your deductive skills. Maybe if you were nicer and didn't rob arcades, he'd visit? I don't see how those things are linked. Did you ask Santa for anything? That chump doesn't write to me, so I don't write to him. Besides, it's a big grand, or uh, it's a bit grand, isn't it? Flying all over the world, giving kids gifts. What, uh, what past crimes are you trying to cover up, crimson pants? See you guys later. <laughs> hey, buddy, can't you see I'm busy stealing? Oh, hello, officer. <laughs> Broken consoles out of order. Ah, rampaging monkey is my favorite game here. Can I pull the fire alarm? Why would anyone want to, uh, to alarm a fire? Those things are dangerous when spooked. Must we search every bin we see? Yes. What was that? Screen shake. Better go make sure Buzz is okay. Or we could just not. I'm sure he's fine. What the? What's going on here? Christmas comes but once a year, but this time Krampus is here. You might think I'm going barmy, but I've come to make an army. I've turned these broaders into gnomes to send them back to terrorize their homes. <laughs> well, dang. Buzz? <laughs> you go play and break some things. What? Where'd Buzz go? Better find him. Stay away, big boss man. He don't like kids. What, you already see through his disguise? No need to lie to you. Clever man, know what's what. Now hop off. Aw, dang! Hey, stop throwing stuff at us! Nuh-uh, you visit St. Nick, then I throw a brick. Shame they is all fake. For Christmas dinner, I'm gonna eat your teeth. That doesn't sound like a great time! <laughs> okay, she's saying the same thing. Whoop! Do we go? All hail Krampus, the king of Christmas chaos. <laughs> Merry Bimus. Don't forget to ask your parents for all the biggest toys as Christmas children. No expense is too much if they love you. Brickman's Christmas Roundup, bringing you the top news and events of the past year. Oh, I love this show. I wonder if we'll get a mention. You do not. Ah, no fair. Stevie has a printout of a newsroom where the glass should be. Catamon, Catamon, she'll fight the cosmic star! Her claws are made from tears of moon, protecting daylight from... Singuri 5! She pledges licks of fury. Foreign cartoons are odd. Uh, you just gotta lean into the oddness is all. Open your heart to it. <gasps> My favorite show is on! That's the local bus times. And there's a lot to see and do around the city, detective. You should hop on a random bus yourself someday. Toys? Oh man, I loved this guy. 
undisputed king of the dinosaurs, and dinosaurs didn't even observe political hierarchs or dynasties. What I'd give to go into space, eh? The dark isolation of space. No kids. No toys. No lights. A limited supply of air. Painfully colorful puzzle. Leaders of the multiverse action figures. Only wears pants man and his arch nemesis skull for a face, but otherwise not a skeleton. <laughs> Buzz would love these if we came or if they came with their fortress b beige skull. <laughs> fortress beige skull playset? Uh huh, okay. An orange brontosaurus? Why don't you just give him a rocket pack if you're gonna make stuff up? Jeez. Also, I like the Buzz and Woody toys. What a country this was way back when. When men were men and didn't take orders from stuffed teddy bears. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I know you only make me do these things as punishment for my own good. Yes, siree. I know these toys. Buzz collects them. They're robots that turn into slightly different looking robots. Oh, yes, I see. This one changes from a truck with a container into a truck without a container. Stuff of wonders. I would have thought baking an oven was anything but easy. To start with, how would you fit it in itself? Ah, jump ropes. Trying to trick kids into exercising since man invented ropes. Rope is always useful, so I'll grab some of this, if you don't mind. Me? Complain? Not in front of the bear? No siree! This guy tells me what to do, and folks, let me tell you, it's not always pleasant. I need to leave. <laughs> We need to go right now. Oh, hey, Buzz. There he is. He's trying to reach the star from the tree. Uh, he's too far out to reach, Do detective. He's right under the skylight. Maybe I can grab him from up on the roof? <clears throat> Do we use the jump rope? He was part of a pair, but they were torn apart by economical differences. He's jealous of the up-top gnomes, but that's not going to get him anywhere, is it? Look at that happy couple. A power couple in the world of gnomes. Perfect for landscaping and burying bad mistakes. Wind chimes whittled by rare Tibetan uh, metal packers. Like woodpeckers, but for metal. And from Tibet. Picked them up when I was hiking for, uh, with Mildred. Of course, came home alone. Shacked up with a monk. Holy man, my eye. Won't lie, I thought I was buying something else at the time. In my defense, nightclub is a strange place to sell pottery at 2 a.m. Daisies aren't a fancy plant, that's for sure, but they're sturdy. Add a nice smell and color to a place, too. Can't go wrong with a daisy, no sir. Unless you mean Daisy Miller. Girl broke my heart, that she did. Ooh wee, I'll have my revenge one day. You mark my words. Um. Heard that Elizabethan was pronounced more phonetically than today's received pr pronunciation. Like, Eliza B. Than? <laughs> it's all good. Welcome back. What? Oh, nothing. Just flower talk. That's secondhand for my old car washing business. Fun John. Tanya and I had that summer splash in one another unexpectedly. Kids got turned into, into gnomes. We're trying to figure out how to get buzz. <laughs> it's all good I might need something with this kind of reach mind if I take it? please do nothing but bad memories for me in that hose um so we go from as you like it and after one whore? <laughs> Or is it like... I can't do- I can't do phonetic stuff. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. So whore. Okay. <laughs> that's- I mean, okay, to be fair, that's what I thought, but I was like, nah, it can't be- no, it is. And after one whore more, it will be eleven. And so, from whore to whore, we rip, rip. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> sorry oh goodness Shakespeare Shakespeare is funny it's true I love fun facts with Ali I've missed them I've missed them so much detective I haven't seen you since you ruined my uh, my pre-retirement party retirement pre-retirement an early party in case you don't make it through those last few days Oh yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. When I was your age, I was a maverick too. Don't let the rules get you down. Speaking of rules, should you still have your sidearm? Yes sir, rules out the window with them. That's my motto. But your gun, like samurai, you and I, following our own path, making our own way. Om nom nom. Oh, a gentleman caller. And here's me stuffing my face with cookie dough. Don't stop on my account. Would you... Would you like some? No, thank you. <laughs> my, my, my. Two of TLPD's finest in my store. Hooey. For you, everything's on the house. Yes! Or at least it would be if I sold healthy foodstuffs. I can't have you two bastions of the law getting unfit on my watch. Oh, no. Aw. Want... No chance. That's like a nightstick for your teeth. Gotta keep those smiles fresh when you're on the paper for capturing bad guys. Can I get anything from here? Don't touch some cakes. There's calories in that icing you don't need. Ma'am. Having trouble getting your child, uh, your children sticky enough? Uh, not if you give them candy flus. Ca cotton candy mix. Gloop guaranteed. Just add water. Let's put its stickiness to the test. Okay, I assume that's all I need in here. The cinema. Rabble Rouser. Two. Needle face on earth. I don't even understand what any of that means. It's scary though, right? Guy Light, the movie. Coming soon. Are you bringing Doris? Shut up. Yes. <laughs> That's the trophy for our award winning popcorn. Award winning? Popcorn that, le that least tastes like popcorn. They didn't specify it had to taste good. Their mistake was our gain. Doesn't taste the same since they banned butter and salt and the corn. Can't be that bad. Try some. Okay, one popcorn, please. One popcorn coming right up. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's rotten. Yeah, we haven't been over here especially for the popcorn. You can keep the tub. Beautiful. What candies and sodas do you have? Nothing. This is all fake. They took the real stuff away after I laced it to help customers see the truth. <laughs> did you lace it with... I'm sorry. Did you put LSD in all the things? The paranormal PI. What a dumb premise. The butterfly kisser. Sea biter. It's a little popcorn. And now I know why. Well, it's fine. Roof access, it's locked. Some member of staff around here is bound to have a key. Okay, can we... Welcome to the cinema. Offer the days that cops pay double. That's a good... Is that a good deal? No, cops out. Hey, I know you. You were in a cult I bust up last year. Brotherhood of the World's End were not a cult. We were an alternative religion. Focused on bringing about the end of the world. Through ritual chanting and sacrifice. Yeah, what's your point? <laughs> He's not gonna help me. <laughs> Wait a second! Smithy is here. Good to see you out and about, Brigadier. You too, old chap. After that run-in with old Jerry, I decided it was time to leave that hut and see what life here in the colonies had to offer. How are you finding it? Well, I joined the mall walking club, but all we do is stand around while Rose here gives Roger cookie dough and goo goo eyes. I need some real action. Frontline stuff. You can come teach the blood wolves some survival tactics. Fight some wolves, you say? Count me in! That's not... It's not... My, my, my! Wait, I've already talked to you, and you didn't do anything for me. Okay. 
Ned's Gardening. Ned, do you have a thing for me? Ned's the name. Gardening's my game. That and bridge. Can't beat an old for, uh, four-way of a Thursday night. This is my shop, built from a lifetime of memories. Most good, some bad, but that's life, right? An impressive star. I see why Buzz wants it. <laughs> Isn't Christmas great? Chirpy music all season and so many flashing lights, I'm constantly disoriented. Can't recall the last time I saw daylight. <laughs> I am concerned. I mean, I guess I've worked at a mall. I understand. It's not great. What other features would you like to see? Can it look up the sport results? Of course. Just open this menu, scroll to here, type in all your personal data, and then ask your question. Using 32 characters or less, including spaces. Then your question is then sent through to the Encyclopedia Britannica headquarters, where a person looks it up and replies. There you go. Sent. Now we just wait for the answer. This may take a few units of time. I prefer to clean my vacuum by hand. You shouldn't sell de uh, detonation equipment in a place like this. It's 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 a boombox, bud. <laughs> it's just like the cameras we used to tell uh, we use to tell if an area is high crime or not. The ones that uh, they wall mount and then count the number of days until somebody steals them. The very same. Where are my sports results? They're they're on the way. Just gotta have a little patience. All right. Oh, we got a lamp. Excuse me. Sorry. What are you doing? You can't just take that. We're um confiscating it for a police investigation. It's mine now. I have a lamp, a vacuum cleaner, a popcorn tub, cotton candy mix, a garden hose, jump rope, and a newspaper. What am I supposed to do with all this? Can I fill the popcorn tub with water? No. Can I fill the cotton candy mix with water? Candy Floss Fountain sounds like a good enough reason to me. What does the newspaper say? This week's sporting news. I see the spider moth coach is blaming their losing streak on a hex. Should probably investigate that, actually. Can I give that to the dude in the, um... In the electric shop? The electronics shop? Here. Here, use this to find the information you want. Sports results! Woo! Drat, another sale down the loo. It's like people don't want to pay $3,000 for a bit of rubbish tech without it being some ludicrous status symbol. Latest of portable cell phone technology. That's portable? It's huge. Comes with its own carry case, complete with wheels. You again. Did you cause enough harm today already? No, never. How does a digital clock tell the time if it only has zero ones and zeros? Tell me that. Wow, it's so big you can almost see the pixels. Oh my god. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Um... There's no way I'm gonna do that. Can I... Hmm. I feel like I need to get rid of that teddy bear somehow. Can't quite reach it from here, but I can get closer down below. Ned, do you have anything else you want to say? Oh, goodness. She doesn't want me to have anything. Need... Some member of staff around here is bound to have a key. The gnomes, maybe? For Christmas dinner, I'm gonna eat your teeth! Merry Christmas, butts and ghouls! Let's mess this place and wreck those fools! 
stop her own stuff her eyes. Hmm. Decorations are pretty impressive, right, Dooley? That's all the same. Oh no! That's all the same. Can I give you the popcorn tub? <laughs> That's not any different. That's also the same dialogue. Yeah, it's time to do another montage, I guess. Oh! I need to get to the roof. Access restricted to security staff and law enforcement officers. But we are police. Look at our badges. Accessing database. Awful modem whirling beep beep woo dial up noises. Badges not recognized. That makes no sense. Yeah, McKing even asked me for our uh, numbers the other day to double check we were on there. Kept sniggering away to himself, probably laughing at how unlikely it would be that we'd not be on there. But look at our current predicament. Oh. Oh, wait. I see what happened now. Better find a way to ring dispatch and get re-registered. Can I... Do we have a car? I guess I could use the big cell phone upstairs? Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Can I use that phone to make a call, please? I guess. I'm not using this thing now that you've chased off my customer anyway. Dialing. Dispatch. Sally, it's McQueen. Can you add me and Dooley back in onto the very real police register, please? Sure thing, detective. Thanks. Okay, Dooley, let's go get that robot's key. Let's go do it. Robot! What now, human? Try your registry again. Fine. Double checking noises and sounds. Oh, you are on there. How good for you. Can we access the roof now? I guess you can have my access pass. I guess. <laughs> Sassy robot. I need to go upstairs. Okay, let's see if there's anything up there we can use to capture that creature. Buzz can be a nuisance, sure, but calling him a creature is a bit harsh. Claw's missing. If I want to use it, I'll need to find a replacement. Okay. Water reserve for the sprinkler system. No. Alright, so to the arcade we go. To s steal a claw. <laughs> the claw might work on the winch, but why is there a kid in there? He, uh, crawled in when I wasn't looking. Yeah, yeah. alright. Hey buddy, can't you see I'm busy stealing? Oh, hi, officer. She doesn't have anything new to say. Can I use a jump rope? I need... They aren't really telling me anything as to how to get it, though. They're just like, that claw would work. And that's it. And that's a problem. Hmm. Can we... Nope, and that's all the same. They're gonna get their Christmas abandonment <laughs> badges. <laughs> um. Claw might work on the winch, but why is there a kid in there? Hmm. 
That's not what I wanted to do. And she doesn't have anything new to say to me. Do I go talk to the robot again and be like, yo, <laughs> these dudes are trying to steal stuffed animals? Do you know if the police are hiring? I want a gun. Beep, beep, bang, bang. <laughs> robot is unhelpful. Good to know. Can I do anything else on the roof? It's right below the skylight. Yeah, so I need the replacement. That's what they want me to do, is get the claw, right? So how do I get the claw? Can I just... I'm just gonna try and yeet all of these items at it. I guess I can try to, like, combine some of these, but I don't know... None of that makes sense to me. Like, I'm pretty sure I need the hose and the jump rope... Um, to get Buzz off of the fountain. Emily doesn't have anything- any new dialogues for her. He just keeps saying the same thing, and every time I click on the thing... On the claw machine, it's like, I could use that claw, but there's a kid in there. Can I get... Can I get a toy from the toy shop? Tisa, I know, I'd love to sit for a cup too, Dooley, but not until we fix this weirdness. Holding you to that. Do... This is all the same dialogue, though. Hold on, I might look up a hint real quick, because this is rough. <laughs> um... Oh, I didn't get everything from the gardening store. Ah, oh, the trowel, child shovel, pocket spade, depending on your country of origin. Rubber hammer, soft head means it's perfect for uh, mildly smashing glass or knocking in tent pegs without bending them. Makes for a great camping mallet. Unless you come up against bears, then the soft head will let you down. Sometimes at night, I still hear Derek's screams. This might be handy. Mind if I take it, Ned? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, got to reminiscing there. Ned's got a hell of a backstory going on! <laughs> Dear God, this man. Okay. We should be good now. Okay, kids, stay back. One delicate tap should do it. I knew I liked you for a reason, detective. Better get you home, boy, before your mama finds out what happened. Can I stay a while longer? Well, since the detective broke that machine, somebody has to take that stuff. To the authorities, I mean. Think you can handle that, girl? Wait until the cops are gone and pocket the stuff. Gotcha. <laughs> now to pull the claw out. Looks like I finally won something from one of these. Hey, detective. You gonna be okay on your own? Are you serious? I'm a blood wolf. I'm ready for anything. That's my girl! Okay, Emily, don't steal that stuff. We both know I'm going to. You're gonna rob that stuff, aren't you? Honestly, 
Not sure. My upbringing says yes, but the blood wolf in me says maybe only yes a little. Like, 60% yes. What have you done to me? I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> Making you think about your actions. Aw, oh, dang. Alright, put the claw on there. Okay, this should have the machine back up and running. Okay, let's use this contraption. Damn it, he's moving too much to grab onto. I need to find some way to stick him in place. Now can I put the terrible, awful, uh, candy floss nonsense here, please? <laughs> Should stick him in place. Dear God! You can see that gnome buzz is stuck up there. Time to go get him. Oh, goodness. Alright. Okay, let's use this contraption. Can we actually get a buzz this time, though? Heck yeah. And got him! We have him. Now to question him and find out what's going on around here. We can interrogate him! You can be good cop, and I'll be, how is this guy still a cop? <laughs> Do I have to time time up? I should hold them in place. Got a tied up gnome! I know, like! Free me! We need to find a way to question this guy. Use the lamp? Are there... Do I need a dark room and a chair for him to sit in? <laughs> Wasn't there a chair in the, uh... In the store? Yeah. Okay, that's him tied down. Now to question him. Now use the lamp. I should put it down somewhere before I try to use it on him. <laughs> so on the table? Okay, lamp's in place. I mean, if we're gonna do this interrogation, we gotta... Tell me what's going on here. No chance, adult! Me no say nothing! <sighs> I need to find something to interrogate him with. Do you have your flashlight on, on you, Dooley? I sort of traded it. Traded it? Well, last week I was getting the subway to work, and I was hungry, and there was this busker with a sandwich, and he really wanted some light so we could find a new home in the tunnels. So one thing led to another. Dooley! In my defense, the sandwich was very nice. Okay, can I turn the lamp on now? Stop! Stop! This tells you all things! What are you? Are you Buzz? Is buzz and isn't. Is buzz and isn't. Making no sense. Explain yourself. Krampus bring out worst in, ch in chil childer. That's what gnome is. Badness incarnate. I didn't think buzz could get much worse. How do we defeat Krampus? What's his weakness? I'm lactose intolerant. No likes milk. No likes milk. Then let's milk him. That's just a better way to phrase that. <laughs> And as for you, mister, you can stay here until you quit whatever go- or until you quit whatever gang it is you joined. <laughs> it's like, uh... <laughs> Father Forelli being like, get me that- I'm gonna juice that Jesus or whatever. The god juice or something like that. Wait, he's lactose intolerant, so I need to go get eggnog? Yeah? Milky egg liquid. Taste of the holidays. I should ask that guy for some. Need some eggnog, mate? Yeah. I just need some milk, please. Plain old milk. Don't sell it, mate. You must have some. It's one of the ingredients of eggnog. Yeah, I have it. I just don't sell it. It's an eggnog stand, not a milk stand. Mm. Okay, so... Not that. Do you- Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> if I can never go through that dialogue again, that would be great. Does the candy store have anything dairy-based? Don't touch some cakes. The cookie dough. Can I trouble you for some cookie dough now? Well, you didn't want it when I first offered. 
Say, old girl, this chappy's on a mission, no doubt. Needs a slap of your dough to fix a hull breach or some such, I'd wager. Best help him out. Oh, Smithy, you know I was going to share it. Just having giggles with this gentleman and his boy. Hey! Some uncooked cookies. Oh! Oh! Excuse me. I gotta use the, the Easy Bake Oven at the toy store. I'm just gonna walk around in circles. Um... To make cookies and then I can probably get some milk from the eggnog boy any minute now any minute and they're baked can I put okay never mind can I get eggnog or just milk now <laughs> Okay, that's all the same. Hmm. Can I give the cookies to him? No, he's still just screaming at me about being a cop, which valid. <laughs> Cookies for her? No. Lollipops, candy canes, jars of candy. Cakes. She won't let me have any of that. Guess the fountain stuck like that. An improvement, I'm sure we all agree. Impressive star. <laughs> You're interrogating a child in my shop, and boy, I don't know how to feel about that! That's <laughs> this guy tells me to do, and folks, let me tell you, it's not always pleasant. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't have thought to do that. Combining these should give me the reach I need. To pump milk? Don't like that phrase. Why do I need a pump? <laughs> oh, okay. Weird. So I have to use it from the balcony? And would have never thought of that. Uh, but the food court right over that unhelpful eggnog man in his cart. Just lower this down gently. The sound. I now have a vacuum cleaner full of milk. Uh, really, this season is, this is, this really is the season that keeps on giving. God, reading is hard. <laughs> Can I put that in the popcorn tub? No. I need a cup, don't I? Or can I just, okay, let's soak the cookies in the milk and then get them to Krampus before they turn. Okay. Boss, no talk to adults. Only kids. Back off. I need to find a child that hasn't turned yet. Ugh, oh, Emily. My best friend. <laughs> Emily. 
Emily, can you do us a favor and bring uh, some stuff to Santa, please? What's in it for me? The warm feeling of seasonal goodwill? It's not gonna rot my teeth. I need them to fall out so I can get cash from the Tooth Fairy and buy myself a set of metal chompers. Chomp chomp! Chomp chomp! Oh god, okay. Oh! I wonder, can I use the bucket on the fountain? One tub of goopy candy for Emily. Got too close. My shoes are stuck. Guess I'm barefoot from here on out. Detective shoes stuck in candy. Five words. Take that, Hemingway. We are actually barefoot, though. <laughs> oh goodness. Candy. Okay. Okay. I'll go. Su I'll see stupid claws for you. Thank you. Emily, you need these cookies, though. I need you to use these cookies, though. Wait, no, Santa's downstairs, isn't he? Oh, God. We're just gonna wander around this entire place. Hey, guys, I'm here. Now what? Take these cookies. Take these to Santa. Sure, I'm loyal to my word while this tub still holds candy. I got you some treats. Yes, come to me, my little small. Come and join my festive hall. Whatever, weirdo. Just eat the treats. Um, okay. Num num. Wait. Something was up with that food. Because now I don't feel so good. My minions, I've made a grave mishap. I've fallen into their tasty trap. No, no! Big man, go floaty way. Ah! Well. Krampus is gone, but the children are still trapped as gnomes. Hey, what's that behind the throne? Julie, I was saying that the children, they're... Yeah, but look! Look at the new thing! What mystery it holds! What promise for adventure! But the children... New thing! Fine, but after we look at it, we have to save the children. I agree 100% with whatever it was you just said. Now, new thing, please. It's event. Can we talk about saving the kids now? Where do you think it goes? Julie, come on now, focus. I am focused on the mysterious, wondrous vent. Julie, why do you think there's a Santa hat in there? What? There's a hat, just in the vent there. That big guy floated off with his, so why do we think there's another one there? Do you reckon that's where the real Santa was hidden? I guess I'd best go find out. Here, hold my coat so I can move around a bit freely. Boy, it's dark in there. It's cool, you can borrow my lighter. Damn it, Dooley was right. Santa's hat is in here. Better search around to see what else I can find. Really, really leaning into the Die Hard thing. You again? It's the teddy bear. Alright, what's over here then? A red jacket. It must have come this way. <laughs> Draw me like your your action films. Bring me cheese, do my bidding. I obey. Glowing rat. What is happening? It is true he is, it's true. <laughs> His other boot. It must be close now. I have no idea how I've gotten here. Trousers. This must be the right way. One of Santa's boots must be on the right path. Got it because it's the right boot. Let's bundle all this together before moving on. There you are! What? Oh, the gag. Yes, one second. There you go. Thank goodness. I said, I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd save the day. Huh? Because I'm Santa Claus. Now hand me those clothes and let's get out of here. I have 1.9 billion gifts to deliver and we're running out of time. Here you go, Santa. Thank you. Could you turn around for a moment? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> Let me give you your privacy, Santa. Okay, let's go. 
Seems to be locked. Guess we're going the way I came in. Follow me. Ugh, it was cold in there. Glad to have my coat back. Oh dear, Krampus has left this place in a mess. You need to children in general, bad vibes everywhere. What can we do to reverse things? Hmm. Here, take this magic Christmas dust. It will reverse the bad magic. I don't have much left, so you'll need to water it down. Uh, do I go upstairs for that? Because, like, water res uh, reserved for the sprinkler system. Right. Why would I want to drench everyone in plain old water? Oh, okay. No, no, no. I see, I see. Put the Christmas dust in the in the water tank. Okay, this should water down the dust now to trigger the sprinklers and soak those monsters. Does this count as a nod to earlier cases, or is it just lazy work? Can't it be both? Boop! Here goes nothing. Hey! No more gnomes! <laughs> we did it! That's the kid saved! Let's go tell Santa! Well done! Now I'll have the remainder of the Christmas dust bath, please. Remainder? Back? I should put you on the naughty list for that, but you used it for a good cause. Thank you both. If you hadn't been here, this would have been a disaster. Happy to help. Well, I'd better get going. I have a lot of gifts to deliver, and I'm already running late. Good luck out there. It's gonna be a cold one tonight. Keep up the good work. You two boys. You two. Good job, us. Case closed. Are we just gonna leave Buzz inside? <laughs> oh no, my sleigh! Maybe we spoke too soon. Let's go see what's happening. What's going on here? Well, well, well. If it's not Mick Lame and Officer Fooly, clamping this man's reindeer for loitering. He doesn't even have a permit from the city. I have one from the North Pole Licensing Department and a note from the NPPD. I'm not interested in what the NPPD have to say. This isn't their jurisdiction. Why don't I uh, take over for this? Cover the paperwork. No thanks. I'll do it when I get into the office. Then your friend here can go through the appeals process there. Oh, look at the time. I just clocked off for the holidays. Guess that paperwork can wait until I'm back. Toodles. What a jerk. How will I deliver all the gifts without my reindeer? Could you hook your sleigh up to our car and make it fly? Normally, yes, but somebody used all my Christmas dust, and I'm left with no way to power it. Somebody used all the dust? Who would do such a thing? Oh, yes. Never mind. Can we make more dust? Only by finding a kid who doesn't believe in Christmas and changing their mind. We best start looking. Let's go get Emily again! This is a long one. <laughs> for, a, for a bonus episode. This is a long one. Is she in here? Yeah, she is. Emily? What? Yes? I wasn't standing here debating whether to take the leftover gifts or not. Is there still cotton candy in that tub? Yeah, but I'm working on it. Well, if it still has candy, you're still in my employ. Come with us. Oh, man. I knew I should have stopped to rest my teeth or and my tummy. Did you find a child who didn't believe in Christmas? I did. She's right here. Okay, I'm here. Now what? This is Santa Claus. For real. Santa Claus. Hello, Emily. Rubbish. Santa's not real. If I'm not real, how did I know you sent me a letter? I... He made us in school. Anyway, or anyone would have known that. What did I ask for? This. Emily received a item blowtorch. My blowtorch? No way. Yes way, Emily. Yes way. This can't be safe. You really are Santa Claus. Look, the car! It's taking off! We should be able to fly now. Simon, hook up the sleigh. Oh man, I thought I was done for the night. Oh my god. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, there goes Krampus. Bye, bud. We did it, detective! We saved Christmas! Yeah, now St. Nick can sort us out with gifts for tomorrow. Win-win. We didn't forget anything else, did we? Buzz is still back at the... Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, guys? 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 
We saved Christmas. Um. All right. I'm probably going to call it here for this afternoon. Uh, I need to go stretch, do stuff, prep for this evening. Get some other things done. <laughs> but that was cute and fun. I will try and, um, I don't know. I might play the last two bonus ones for myself. And if everybody else wants to check it out, y'all can pick up the game and check it out yourselves. Um... So yeah, and then I'll figure out, like, what we'll do next. Like I said, I was planning on redoing, um... Fuck, what is that game? Uh... Yuppie Psycho. Because I want to try and get the other endings. Um... But I'll see. Also, hello, Ikario. You're just in time for us to go try and raid someone. <laughs> um... But hey, thanks for being here. Let's go check out Karish Belender. Boo, two. Thank you for the three months uh, sub at tier one. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. Um. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we're just we're just disbanding now. But let's go hang out with uh, this person named Karish Belender. Looks like they're also playing Dark Side Detective, which is cool. Love that. Um, if you're gonna raid with us, if you are not a sub, you can use this message. But if you are, there is one using our emotes that you are welcome to copy paste use when we get this raid going on. Um, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> But thanks for hanging out, everyone, this afternoon. I appreciate it. I'm really enjoying um, our afternoon streams. I like them. Um, but until next time, I will see you guys this evening. We're going to pick up control again, finish that out, um, see what happens. Uh, until then, take care. Love y'all. You're fantastic and great. And we'll see y'all later. <laughs>